The eye disposable interface is used to control the release of managed and unmanaged resources. Let's have a quick look at the first of those, managed resources. To simulate an operation, we're going to have a for loop that goes from zero to 10 million, and then just adds up those numbers. This will give us a short delay in the application and demonstrate the little uh, example I have for you here. What we're gonna do is time how long it takes for this to be executed. If it takes longer than 10 milliseconds, then I want to output a warning message, a fairly simple operation. I'm going to use a stopwatch instance. We start the stopwatch, perform the for loop, stop the stopwatch, and then we're just gonna test how long did it take. Elapsed milliseconds. If it took more than 10, we're gonna output a warning. Very simple piece of code. Let's compile and run it to check that it works. And there we go, 19 milliseconds. There might be many locations in our program where we want to use the same pattern. So let's create a class which we can reuse and therefore control the lifetime of our stopwatch and potentially any warning message. Let's create a class called Operation Timer. We add our iDisposable interface and that means we have to provide the dispose method. Now, in order to move our code into this class, we're going to need to create an instance of a stopwatch. We can do that when the class is instantiated. And inside the timer, we're going to call start because we want the operation to begin immediately. Inside dispose, we're going to stop because we've now finished the operation. And finally, add our optional warning code. Using this iDisposable class makes our code much, much cleaner. The using statement will cause the operation timer to be created and instantiated. At the end of the using statement, it will automatically call dispose and that will cause our timer to stop and potentially show a warning. The advantage of this version is that the using statement will always call dispose. If there's an exception thrown during the operation, it will still call dispose for us. So it's a very safe way of allocating and then disposing of resources. It also, in this case, gives us a handy reusable class. Operation timer, we could reuse it in any number of different places and get some standard operating results. To improve the safety of this class, we need to make sure that the dispose method isn't called multiple times. Now in practice, when used inside a using statement, the c -sharp compiler will make sure that it's only called once but there's no reason why a user couldn't create an instance and then just call this manually more than once. So let's improve the safety. We're going to add a disposed defaults to false. We're then gonna to add to our dispose method a check. If it's already been disposed, do nothing basically. Otherwise we dispose by stopping the timer, doing our warning and then say, look, it's been done. There's no need to do it a second time. Unmanaged resources are a bit more complicated. We cannot rely on the garbage collector kicking in and releasing the resources for us if we forget to call dispose. We need to guarantee it happens. We do that by adding a finalizer. If the finalizer gets called, we're gonna call a, a new helper method that we create in a moment, and that's gonna dispose the resource. We then replace our current dispose with a new one. We're gonna call our new helper method if it came from the finalizer, we say false. If it came from an explicit call, we'll call true because we're going to do slightly different work. And because we've called it explicitly, we no longer need the finalizer. So we can tell the garbage collector to suppress calling that finalizer. And now we can add the actual implementation. It starts off the same. If we have already disposed, then we don't need to do anything. We then check to see who's calling this. If this is being called by the finalizer, then we don't need to deal with any managed resources. So we don't need to come in and stop or do any other work with the stopwatch class. Instead, we can skip over. And then what we do is we always clean up the unmanaged resources. We don't have any in this particular example, but this is where you would do it in code. So there you go. Quite a complex pattern. There's plenty of more information about this from Microsoft. I've put the link in the description below. Hopefully you found this useful. If so, hit the like button. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Happy coding.